Good morning. This is Father Rob with Church of the Holy Spirit, and uh, it's Monday morning, November 9th, right? Yep. And uh, it's time for a little morning prayer. I appreciate you joining me this morning. Um, the post where you found this video um, has the scriptures that we'll be reading this morning, um, as well as links to those scriptures, and uh, you can read them online. And of course, there's a link to the Book of Common Prayer as well, which you'll be able to read that. If you would like to follow along, I'm going to take a moment <clears throat> and share this video to my timeline. There we go. And if you would join me in that, we can uh, invite some others to hop on with us and join us in prayer. I hope that you had a good weekend, a good Lord's Day, um, that it was full of His presence, and that um, this will be a blessed week for you as we get started on tasks and various things that need to happen this week. <clears throat> As we get ready, um, if you would turn to your Book of Common Prayer, if you have one, to page 78, that's where we will begin our morning office um, with our opening acclamation. We'll give it a few more moments uh, for some others to sign on, and then we'll get started. All right. <clears throat> Again, we be, we begin on page 78 with our opening acclamation. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 80. Psalm 80. <clears throat> Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock, shine forth you that are enthroned upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. 
show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angered, despite the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbors, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You cast out the nations and planted it. You prepared the ground for it. It took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow. And the towering cedar trees by its boughs, you stretched out its tendrils to the sea and its branches to the river. Why have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar of the forest has ravaged it, and the beasts of the fields have grazed upon it. Turn now, O God of hosts, look down from heaven, behold that intend its line. Preserve what your right hand has planted. They burned it with fire like rubbish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let them perish. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand. And son of man, you have made so strong for yourself. And so will we never turn away from you. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading comes from the book of Joel. Book of Joel, uh, first chapter, beginning at verse 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, son of Pethuel. Hear this, O elders, give ear, all inhabitants of the land. Has such a thing happened in your days or in the days of your ancestors? Tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children another generation. What the cutting locust left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the the hopping locust has eaten, and what the hopping locust left, the destroying locust has eaten. Wake up, you drunkards, and weep, and wail, all you wine drinkers, over the sweet wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation has invaded my land, powerful and innumerable. Its teeth are lion's teeth, and it has the fangs of a lioness. It has laid waste my vines and splintered my fig trees. It has stripped off their bark and thrown it down. Their branches have turned white. Lament like a virgin dressed in sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The grain offering and the drink offering are cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests mourn the ministers of the Lord. The fields are devastated, the ground mourns, for the grain is destroyed, the wine dries up, and the oil fails. Be dismayed, you farmers, wail, you vine dressers, over the wheat and the barley, for the crops of the field are ruined. The vine withers, the fig tree droops, pomegranate, palm, and apple, all the trees of the field are dry up. Surely joy withers away among the people. Put on sackcloth and lament, you priests. Wail, you ministers of the altar. Come pass the night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God. Grain offering and drink offering are withheld from the house of your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the second reading comes from Revelation chapter 18. <clears throat> Revelation 18, we begin at verse 15. <clears throat> the merchants of these wares who gained wealth from her will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. Alas, alas, the great city clothed in fine linen, in purple sackcloth, scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels and with per pearls, for in one hour, all this wealth has been laid waste. 
and all shipmasters and seafarers, sailors, and all whose trade is on the sea, stood far off and cried out as they saw the smoke of her burning. What city is like the great city? And they threw dust on their heads, and they wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas, the great city, where all who had ships at sea grew rich by her wealth, for in one hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, you saints and apostles and prophets, for God has given judgment for you against her. Then a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, With such violence Babylon the great city will be thrown down and will be found no more. With the sound of harpist and minstrels and of flautists and trumpeters will be heard in you no more. And an artisan of any trade will be found in you no more. And the sound of millstone will be heard in you no more. And the light of a lamp will shine in you no more. And the voice of bridegroom and bride will be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the magnets of the earth. And all nations were deceived by your sorcery, and in you was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all who have been slaughtered on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The final reading comes from Luke chapter 14, verse 12. He said also to the one who had invited him, When you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors, in case they might invite you in return and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. One of the dinner guests, upon hearing this, said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. And then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a dinner, a great dinner, and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first one said to him, I have bought a piece of land, and I must go and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I'm going to try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married, and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the towns and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there still is room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and the lanes, and compel people to come in, so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we continue in our time together this morning, we take the moment to confess together that which we believe about this great faith of ours by using the Apostles' Creed. It's, it's found on page 96 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us confess together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
The Lord be with you, and also with you, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our collect this morning comes from the 27th proper. It's found on page 236 in the Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> o God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Collect for Grace can be found at the top of page 100. Let us pray together. <clears throat> Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It's at this point in our time together that we take the opportunity to offer up our own prayers and intercessions. We'll take about a minute, and then I'll, I will close us in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day and this week that you have laid before us. We thank you for the grace and mercy that um, you have shown us and that you intend to pour upon us today and this week. We pray um, that we would be guided in our steps. We pray that you would um, keep us close to you, that you would keep us on your path that you have laid for our lives and that you would help us to find um, our strength and our hope um, and our joy in you. Lord, we pray that you would give our hearts peace um, in the midst of the trials of this life. 
<clears throat> as we face um, sadness and sickness, as we face our sorrows, as we face um, surgeries, as we face the things um, that uh, are coming in against our bodies, um, our hearts, our minds, Lord, would your spirit be at work in us, bringing us both physical healing and emotional and mental healing? Lord, would you strengthen our bodies and our minds and our hearts that we would be um, drawn closer to you, that we would find um, our all in all in the center of you and, and, and um, your great care for our lives. Lord, we pray especially for those who are suffering um, from sicknesses, especially from this virus, Lord. We pray for um, a great blessing of peace um, in hearts that are fearful, and then also for healing, for great healing um, and, and rapid healing um, for those who are sick and for those recovering from surgeries and those facing surgeries coming up this week, Lord. Would your hand be in the midst of all of these things? Lord, we pray for peace in our hearts um, as we move forward um, after this election. Lord, would you um, would you bind our country together? Lord, uh, would you be in the midst of both the excitement and sadness uh, for frustration and joy? Lord, would you temper these things and help this country to come back together? Lord, um, not for just the sake of peace, but um, for the sake of the gospel, Lord, would your light shine forth into this land and would change hearts and that would renew minds and hearts and bring people into your kingdom. And as hearts and minds are renewed by the gospel, Lord, um, may we come together as one. People have a greater purpose than um, the civil governments, Lord. May we come together as members of the body of Christ and citizens of your kingdom. Lord, we pray um, that you would strengthen our churches, that you would grow our churches. Um, I pray especially for the churches that are represented um, right here this morning, Lord, that you would um, strengthen the feet and the ministers that stand before you and before the church and before the world. Um, and help us to proclaim your gospel. Lord, we pray that you would grow numerically, um, even in the midst of pandemic and even in the midst of um, things being, um, in some cases, shut down. Lord, would you cause ministries to grow and more people to be reached through your resources. Lord, um, may your gospel go forth. Um, we thank you that our hope is in Christ and that um, we have hope and peace in the midst of the turmoil of this life, but even more than that, Lord, that we have the hope of glory, we have the promise that one day we will walk with you um, in bodies that do not contain sickness or sadness or sin, Lord, that we will be in your presence and see you face to face. We look forward to that promise being fulfilled, and um, may, may that vision um, keep us moving forward in your path. Thank you so much, Lord for your grace and mercy that you have extended to us. Give us peace this day and all days, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. As we wrap up this morning, um, let us pray together the prayer of general thanksgiving that's found on page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> let us pray. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, but giving up ourselves to your service and be walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord, 
to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Um, thank you for joining me this morning. I pray that your day is blessed. Um, stay dry as the storm comes through Florida if you're um, elsewhere. Um, actually, stay warm. I guess the rest of the country is cold right now. So, <laughs> uh, lucky you. Um, I hope your day is blessed, your week is blessed. Remember that the Lord is on his throne. He is sovereign over all of this, and he is making his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Trust in him. He is in control. Have a wonderful day. I love you. The Lord loves you. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye now.